Welcome, you're tuned in to Popular Cruising and our review of Celebrity Cruises Celebrity Reflection. The ship is the last in the Solstice class prior to the launch of the highly anticipated Celebrity Edge. Let's first take a look at its accommodations. We personally enjoyed a comfortable inside stateroom. Joined by our teddy bear friends, and even a sock monkey this time around. Who also give the cabin their thumbs up of approval. For an interior variety, the space is quite sizable. With well configured storage. And a standard bathroom layout that is equally ample. From the sink and toilet to a shower that's compact but easy to turn around in. Upgrading from there are concierge class staterooms with an outside view and private balcony. Otherwise, it's a similar configuration to the inside ones, including the standard bathroom. Bigger overall are Aqua Class staterooms. With a wider footprint and more storage. And they increase in size yet again with a Royal Suite. Complete with a separate living and dining room. Master bedroom and a bathroom with a shower and a tub. And even more luxurious is the penthouse suite, featuring a gorgeous in room piano. And an even more palatial bathroom. Highlighting a bathtub and a massive shower. But still, the most breathtaking room on board is the Reflection Suite. Actually occupying a corner section of the Observation Lounge. With amazing views to match, and a scenic but still private bathroom, encompassing an outstanding cantilevered corner shower. As for activities, just below is the Canyon Ranch Spa Club, highlighting its own relaxing vistas. A fitness center with motion studio, as well as lots of exercise equipment. There's also a full hair salon. And barber shop. And pampering treatment rooms are available for singles. As well as couples. With lots of room to go around. Seen here with a fantastic view of the celebrity constellation is the Persian Garden, including a dry sauna, marvelous heated tile beds, a steam room currently turned off here to make it easily photographable, a refreshingly cold chill room, bonus aromatic suite, and even more tiled recliners. 
with an irresistible view. Also showcasing the ship's surroundings is the Welcome Sky Observation Lounge. A bit smaller now because of the aforementioned reflection suite. But still wonderful for the classic venue to be featured at all. As the best way to check out destinations. Where you can take in the same views from the outside up at the solstice deck. Where there are plenty of loungers to go around. Available under shade or the sun. It also overlooks the basketball court below. For some alfresco hoop action. And of course there's the ship's signature long club. With real live grass to stroll through. And playful oversized chairs for perfect photo ops. As well as private cabanas for rent. The deck even features bocce ball and lawn bowling. Or for other exertions, there's the jogging track. Just below from which is the expansive pool deck. With lots of places to take a dip, as well as play a round of table tennis. There's additionally the solarium for adults only. With a cool dancing water fountain. Cush padded loungers. Extra whirlpools. And a bonus glass enclosed pool. It's the perfect place for serenity. But kids and kids at heart are not left out. Thanks to an onboard video arcade. And of course there are also children's clubs on board in the form of shipmates and fun factory. The colorful space features fun Xbox gaming consoles. As well as other gaming and craft space. And on the other side is the teen equivalent of X Club. with its very own games, and a dance floor. And there's so much more to do on lower levels. Such as get more information about the Captain's Club, Celebrity Cruises Loyalty Program,
or you can head down some more to the ship's library. Although not fully stocked, it's a great place to read a few books. Continuing down a deck is Game On. We're playing cards at electronic gaming tables that were sadly not turned on. Nonetheless, the hideaway below is another great retreat. Surrounding the Grand Atrium with a coffee maker and even more seating. And always a favorite of ours as Apple fans is the Celebrity Eye Lounge. Where you can learn all things Mac and more. Also featuring the latest technology is the digital studio at the photo gallery. Where you can purchase all the images from your crews. Where you can bid on pieces on display at the art gallery. There's also a surprisingly large amount of brand name shops on board. For all sorts of premium purchases to be made upstairs, as well as downstairs at the Galleria Boutiques and Shops on the Boulevard. There's even a handy location to book future cruises. Next door to which is the ship's conference center. Shown here configured into two rooms. Also enticing is the Fortune's Casino, especially since it's thankfully non-smoking. And at the center of it all is the Grand Foyer. Hub to the Shore Excursions Desk. as well as guest relations, where a number of great photos of the ship under construction are on display, which is very special to me, since I had a chance to see it being built at the Meyer Wharf shipyard in 2012. Of course, beyond activities, the celebrity's acclaimed food, starting at the Opus restaurant, The ship's super stylish main dining room. Serving delicious complimentary dishes like these. For grabbing a drink before or after dinner, there's the Passport Bar. Meanwhile, just for sweet guests, is the private Lumine restaurant. In a very handsome space. Perfect for sampling wines on board is Cellar Masters. thanks to its enomatic dispensers. And 
fact, you can buy smaller tastes of many wines without purchasing the entire bottle. Or for alternate drink selections across the way, there's Martini Bar and Crush. And the first of the specialty dining venues on board is Sushi on Five. For excellent premium bites like these. Or for grabbing a specialty coffee or gelato, there's Cafe Albaccio. Featuring a great variety of flavors. But our favorite watering home on board is the World Class Bar. With a unique menu of top shelf cocktails. Always a welcome retreat, exclusive to Reflection, Penthouse, Signature, Royal and Celebrity Suite guests, as well as Captain's Club Zenith members, is Michael's Club. Complete with continental breakfast, free drinks throughout the day, and canapes at night. And just next door, available to everyone again on board, is the handsome Ensemble Lounge. For grabbing a refreshing cocktail. With excellent live music accompaniment. And Murano is where you'll find specialty French flavors on board. Many of which, in fact, are prepared tableside. After enjoying tasty starters like these. Before waiters plate entrees such as Dover Soul. expertly finished here. Or another option is Lobster Thermidor. Including some dramatic flambe action. All mouthwatering when complete. Similar attention to detail is given to dessert. such as these sweet strawberry crepes. Or if Italian steakhouse is somewhere to your liking, there's Tuscan Grill. With a breathtaking view over the stern. And the serving of traditional favorites.
Ordered steak temperatures, however, are inconsistent. But sweet send-offs are great. Meanwhile, Blue is a restaurant reserved just for Aqua Class guests. Inside a very stylish venue. Opening back up for everyone on board is Cuisine. And the already imaginative dining room has something new up its sleeve. In the form of whimsical video projections. Featuring the fun, animated Petit Chef. Preparing dishes not tableside, but right on the plate. From appetizers and entrees. To dessert. As seen now ready to eat here. Side, there's the Aqua Spa Cafe. For healthier alternatives. As well as the masked bar for drinks. Alongside the masked grill. Where you'll find juicy hamburgers. And of course there's the pool bar itself. And for greater buffet choices, there's the Ocean View Cafe. Food quality and selections here are good, but not as great as they once were before. Thankfully, though, there's lots of seating to go around. For breakfasts, lunches, and more. One of the greatest al fresco options is the Long Club Grill. With fresh pizza making. And a custom salad bar. For tasty items like these. for the opportunity to interact with the chef and cook your own steak. Of course, if you prefer they cook it, they'll happily do so. But the option is educational. In fact, we consider these steaks better than those in the Tuscan Grill. And we especially love the signature desserts. Just behind it, the Sunset Bar is a final watering hole on board.
but actually our favorite on board was the porch. For refreshing Mediterranean bites and seafood like these. The ship is also full of entertainment, naturally starting in the entertainment court. Off from which is the Celebrity Central Cinema. With room for plenty of spectators. And then there's the main Reflection Theater. Occupying an impressive three decks. And hosting headliner comedians. and elaborate production shows. As previewed here. Alternatively, sometimes shows are simpler. Marvelously showcasing just the vocal talent and welcome live band. With some fanciful staging. before switching again into high gear.
featuring a kinetic mix of acrobatics and puppetry. Suffice it to say, it was all very impressive. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, and visit popularcruising.com.